The chancellor at UT Knoxville, Donnie Plowman, says she expects to welcome students back to campus in the fall and she hopes to see the football team take the field and fans in the stadium for a kickoff September 5th in the home opener. Those are still unknowns in this COVID-19 crisis. What we do know is more about the financial hit the university has taken. 10 News reporter Cole Sullivan has more on a special meeting with UT trustees. One of the biggest unknowns is whether there will be fall football or not. UT System President Randy Boyd says it is preparing multiple scenarios in hopes of having some form of football this fall. They haven't made a decision yet. Uh, like everybody else in the world, we're still looking at data, trying to determine, everybody's trying to determine what the future holds. To a virtual meeting of the Board of Trustees Friday morning, UT System President Randy Boyd says the football decision will come from the SEC. It's not my decision, it's not Donnie's decision, it's the SEC's decision. He says UTK Chancellor Dondi Plowman and Philip Fulmer talk with their SEC counterparts often. And he says he knows the economic cost canceling the season would have. Already, the UT system has paid out nearly $40 million in student housing and dining refunds as classes move online. Um, not, I, I, would, I wouldn't call it smooth. Um. The change has not been without glitches. Spring classes ended Friday, and junior Emma Kate Hall is glad. Definitely thankful that it's, it's over today, um, and we just have finals left, because it's far more challenging than I expected it to be, for sure. She says she hopes UT gets back closer to normal in the fall. The chancellor says that could be a combination of some online and some in-person lectures. Hall hopes it involves the volunteers running through the tea once again. If me staying in my apartment for another three months means I get football season, like I will happily lock my door and stay in. Cole Sullivan, 10 News.